Howdy, everyone. It's great to see y'all here at PlatformCon. I just got back from an exhilarating KubeCon, CloudNativeCon EU in Valencia, and I'm happy to be home in LA. I have my bed, I have my dogs, I have my favorite running paths and all my books behind me, um, and my shredder too, because yeah, you gotta be ready for anything, right? I have quite the topic for you today around cloud native technologies and navigating an infinite landscape. I'm gonna get things started and give a quick introduction into what the CNCF is at first. Uh, that's where I work, that's what I do, it's what I live, breathe, know, and uh, really have quite a bit of fun working at. Next, I'll roll into the topic of the CNCF landscape and how it can help you. It makes much more fun than uh, a 10,000 piece puzzle, I must say. Uh, I also am looking for that swag to be at our booth at some point in time. Then we'll move the discussion uh, into the way that you think, cognition, uh, ways to work with teams. And then finally, we'll talk about how we put all these themes together and make an actionable, actionable continuous learning plan for yourself, for your team, for your future. So let's get things kicked off. What is the CNCF? The CNCF brings together the world's top developers, end users, vendors, and we organize and operate the largest open source developer conferences. The CNCF is a Linux Foundation project. The Linux Foundation itself has been around since 2000. The sole focus of the CNCF is about cloud native. The foundation was created out of the donation of Kubernetes from Google, and there are many other project, projects under the Linux Foundation's umbrella all focused on furthering specific goals and objectives. So as you can see in this slide, we have everything from making cloud native ubiquitous with the Cloud Native Computing Foundation to web with OpenJS or blockchain with Hyperledger. There are so many other contexts and projects that we're working on. Uh, OpenSSF is another one working on secure build of materials. Um, there are uh, just numerous amounts of projects uh, couldn't fit them all into one slide, and these were the ones that were most notable that I wanted to share with you today. So the CNCF, like the Linux Foundation, is a nonprofit organization, and it was founded in December 2015. We work with open source projects, communities, and promote open governance. We have the goal of helping to make cloud native ubiquitous. Listed here are the graduated projects that are within our purview, uh, though these classifications change as projects grow in maturity and as their communities form. We have incubating and sandbox projects and projects that haven't even been created yet. Um, those are That's up to you. That's in the future. I, do, I have no idea what they're going to be, but they're going to be cool. They're going to be cool. That's for sure. Uh, keep an eye on this space if you're curious about open source trends in general and uh, take a look at these projects. If you go to l.cncf.io, you'll see this whole landscape. You'll be able to introspect you know, vendor members, projects, and just kind of get a sense of what's going on at the CNCF. Um, there are projects that I'd, I really do at some point in time want to make some note cards and dig into which each of these things do and see how well my memory is on uh, the different contexts that we have. So now that we have a little bit better handle on what the CNCF is, let's talk about what the CNCF does. The CNCF landscape makes for a great place to start with understanding this vibrant ecosystem. Pictured here is the landscape, which is quite a spectacle to behold. Now, if you turn it to the left or to the right, it might become a bit more clear to see that, oh, um, that's not the landscape I was talking about. Here is the CNCF landscape, which can be incredibly busy depending on where you're looking. At the top of this graphic, we even call out how overwhelming this might be. It's a lot to take in. Hopefully it's not too painful. <laughs> it's meant to be more of a guide and, uh, and not a one-size-fits-all solution. 
It's to give you a map that you can refer to as you iterate through your cloud native journey. If we zoom in a layer to say orchestration and management, then we're able to see all of the projects both under CNCF ownership or projects that are crafted to work well within the CNCF ecosystem. Note that you can even see Nomad here, which is a HashiCorp project. It's not under the CNCF purview as it uses standards like the container storage interface and the container network interface, the CSI and the CNI. Zoom in even further, and we can see all of the scheduling and or orchestration tools available for cloud native workflows. Using the full power of cloud native, what happens if we zoom in even further? There's no telling what we'll see. Oh my goodness, it's the Kate's boson. Scientists have speculated that it resonates at the perfect frequency for container scheduling. All right, I'm, I'm, I'm just kidding, or am I? If we were to truly zoom in further beyond that last context, we'd find all the contributors that make these projects and these communities possible. Because our projects and in turn, our communities are comprised of upstanding people like you. It's important to understand how we operate. Now, for those of you that don't know me, I am a reading fiend. I dare you to challenge me to Goodreads yearly goals. I, I love working with people on that front. I love reading uh, and I love putting on a good audiobook as I'm running around and cleaning the house. I love new ideas and perspectives. One book I've read recently was titled A Thousand Brains by Jeff Hawkins. This book talks about the mental models that we construct throughout our lives. Uh, so if we see the sun reflect off something in the corner, is it running water? Is it packing tape? How does our brain put that together? How do our brains quantify the world around us? The book goes into further detail about artificial intelligence, about how best practices around how we construct models or, or information more efficiently. Though before we redefine the future, we need to redefine how we think. How do we solve problems within our world? And what is this thousand brains theory? The thousand brains theory of intelligence proposes that rather than learning one model of an object or concept, the brain builds many models of each object. Each model is built using different inputs, whether from slightly different parts of a sensor, that being your touch, your taste, your smell, your hearing, uh, some form of perception. Um, the models then vote together to reach consensus on what they are sensing. And the consensus vote, that winner, is what we perceive. Hence, thousands of brains working together to create our reality. Now that in and of itself is a lot of information to take in. It's a theory that is completely redefining previous thoughts on intelligence and cognition. If you heard what I heard on that topic, it sounds a lot like a distributed system, something that I love working with every single day that I can. In fact, we can take that perspective and we can apply it to how we build distributed systems. If we replace objects with different cloud computing concepts or concerns, we can build intelligent models around our platform stacks. Instead of sensors or touch, taste, smell, hearing, maybe we can evaluate run times, compliance, tracing. Finding out the correct interfaces that you use as a team or a company is the key to finding out how you can provide more value all around. Instead of observing a system like the classic model on the left, I've observed that high-performing teams are able to quantify their performance by observing layers of their stacks. Not only one aspect like authentication or authorization, but across their whole vertical. This is more of a focus on something like a financial services user group, understanding things at that slice rather than that depth within that specific context. It's useful, it's good, it's helpful, but I'm finding that a lot more high-performing teams are looking at the entirety 
of what their ecosystem, what their vertical looks like. Um, I'm also working with teams on automotive and transportation, AI and ML. There, there are lots of them in the work right now that we're trying to work through. So what's next? A thousand brains, a hundred teams, and infinite perspectives. We've learned that with a thousand brains theory, it's not enough to take a single, a single sample of our infrastructure stack. That high-performing platforms require time to construct and validate that construction. If we don't take the time to understand what's important to us and our stakeholders, we might end up with something that works, that's beautifully engineered, but a bit blurry in its definition. This can lead to difficulty in upgrades, implementation, and even adoption. Remember how those thousand brains vote on what your reality is? Who would have thought that your brain is like reality TV? I truly believe that life is a giant distributed system and most issues are truly DNS. It's communication, it's focusing on the wrong thing, it's not, uh, not pointing to the right thing. If we each act as one of those models of understanding and intelligence, if we take the time to understand our world, our concept, our topic, whether it be security or run times or deploying an application, canary releases, whatever it might be, then we can surface and vote on a more precise and efficient platform. We owe it to ourselves to ask questions, to break things, and to discover. We stand on the shoulders of giants and we are giants of our own accord based on all of the mental models that we have in our noggins. It's my goal to help you on your journey. And at the end of the day, the only thing that I want to sell you on is that it's important to find your community, your tribe, and your group. These are the, fo these are the folks that will help you make sense of your world when it comes to building your platform. I want to thank you all for the time today. It was an absolute pleasure getting to speak with you. Uh, I could talk for hours on this topic. There are so many things to dig into, but at the end of the day, if you just simply understand that life is layers, it's helpful to have that, uh, that deep focus on something, but far more beneficial to understand things in a horizontal perspective, not just a vertical one. If you'd like to get in touch or work with me on your cloud native journey or just have a discussion, you can find me as at OnlyDole anywhere online. I hope you have an excellent rest of your day and I hope to see you around the interwebs soon. Uh, you'll, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, I really do hope to see you around. Uh, thank you all for coming. This has been fantastic. And uh, yeah, catch around the water cooler. Adios, everybody. <laughs>